the markets might be in trouble, guys. And I'm gonna show you this. We're gonna get into Bitcoin too. My name's D7 and I am with Grok Trade. Thank you for joining us here at Grok Trade. It's Wednesday hump day. December 20th, 2017, it's Christmas time. I'm loving it. Markets in the day, mostly bearish. However, Russell small caps up 0.2% and crude oil up 1.9%. Gold slightly higher, silver slightly higher. The VIX lower by 3%. And it was the VIX, the fear had dropped a lot more in that intraday. We'll show you that. Bitcoin down at this moment, this is after the market on Wednesday, down almost 10%. We're at 16,000 right now. I'm telling you, it's a great buy zone, actually. We'll talk, we'll get into that. Okay. If you're getting into cryptocurrency, if you want more information on that, listen, um, I'm going to give you this. I'll give you some technical analysis on it, and I think you'll find it very beneficial. Okay, let's get going here. Spiders. Spiders, yesterday I called it a sell. We did go lower today, but not by too much. But here's the problem. We have now, we're below the, the big trend line, the blue one, and we're below the little red one right here. We closed below it. This is a lot of trouble. Guys, this could be the start of a drop. I'm, I'm, if, if we're gonna drop, it could happen now. The rest of this week could get very, very bloody. The diamonds called it yesterday a sell. We're slightly lower, but we are definitely lower than this trend line here. Problem city. Problem city for the Dow 30. NASDAQ called it a sell. Um, we went down, touched a rising moving average, and buyers came in and brought it right back higher. Small cap, so down, down, down. Yesterday called it a sell, but people bought into that low we came back up here very interesting to see if we can um yeah just uh, this one didn't do as poorly as the rest of them financials down slightly pulled called it a sell yesterday today we're down but we had a big gap up across the board all the markets had a big gap up pre-market opening up the day and then we came um screaming back southbound all right, U.S. dollar, I got a sell on that. We are on and or below, below a major area of support, guys. Major area of support. I am big time uh, worried about the U.S. dollar going down. We could start to break down pretty aggressively here. The only way we could save it is get back above the trend line and the 20-day moving average. If we can get back above that, the U.S. dollar will stay pat within the triangle pattern stay within this consolidation crude oil had a buy on this and wow we were going up very nicely after our buy call we're at a resistance point coming across here let's see what happens with that gold higher we had a buy on that several days ago up 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 but we're running into the falling 20-day moving average you can see that there on the blue line Silver, up, 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 up. We have the falling 20-day moving average. That's the blue line. And that could be a resistance point. This could just be a big bear pullback. And that could be an area for a short to commence. So be looking for short opportunities on gold and silver if it does start to drop. Fear now. Fear at one point today went way down, 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 down. I mean, fear got down, whoa, below 9 at 8.9. That's pretty low, guys. Came way down. No fear, no fear, no fear. By the end of the day, the fear jumped back up, but still lower than it was Tuesday. So I still have a buy on fear because we're at these areas of support. Now, guys, I'm going to get into Bitcoin. Bitcoin is yesterday we put a sell on it. Had a rough, rough day yesterday and today. Today we continue down at this very moment we're below 16 this is a great buy area but I'll tell you looking at the Fibonacci here something has gone up this aggressively we it's healthy for the markets to pull back don't fret this at all now we do have big volume on the sell side but that's profit takers this is not do not think this is a long-term you know high okay i think this high will get blown out here sh in short fashion but here's the deal if we can stay above the 20 day moving average that's that blue line that's pretty bullish pretty bullish but to be frank here this thing could pull back to 12 600 12, area and that would still be a great area to buy 
And if we got down to 16.8 um, Fibonacci, it puts us right at around 11,000, 11,000. That would be a, and bouncing off the rising 15 and moving edge, that would be a great short-term purchase. If we could get down there, I don't think it would stay too long. It would go down there, touch and go. It would be boom, boom, right up there. Remember me talking about these levels. 11,000 is a buy zone. Um, 12 and a half, 12, 6, 12,600 is a big time buy zone. Uh, 1428, you know, 14,300 14, is a, a buy zone. We also have support right here. So there's a number of buy zones here. The, as we get down to some of these lower ones, if we can uh, be more aggressive on the buying, smaller buy zones on the on these levels here, like you know, this level here, the rising 20 day, 15,300 buy zone. Right now, to 16,000 is a buy zone, uh, but again, these are buy zones. All right, let's look at GBTC, GBTC, Bitcoin inventories, treasuries. That ha that's a nasty little drop down 21% today. We called it a sell yesterday, and look at that big, big drop. Um, the buy zones here, guys, uh, is the 21 and a half, 21 and a half, and we're going to be there soon. Big time buy zone. A huge buy zone would be 1830. 1830 is a monster buy zone, guys. If we can get down there, be looking to buy GBTC. Very, very good. I love, this is what I look for. I've been trading 20 years this February. So the next couple months would be two decades of me trading as a professional, tra no, trading in the live markets, professional trader over, uh, so it'd be two, 12, 15, like 15 years professionally, 12 years I've been teaching for people and 10 years I've owned my own business teaching for people, wow. That ages me. I don't feel that old, but holy smokes, I've been doing this a long time. We see a lot of things here when we look at this. We give you the one, two, threes, ABCs. This is preschool stuff that we show you on these daily videos just to keep you, you know, on the right side of the fence. But when it comes to learning how to trade, it takes us three full days to do it, to learn it the right way, to give you the skill sets that you need. We do that through mentoring. You do that at grocktrade.com. Anyway, I am into Bitcoin. I am getting into uh, cryptocurrencies. I do have a link down in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. That's fine. But I am actually setting up another web page. I'll also have a video, um, a YouTube channel strictly for cryptocurrency so I can stay focused on stocks and ETFs here on this thread. So anyway. Hey, Merry Christmas. I got a really interesting video popping up next, Christmas video. Borderline disturbing, but it's funny. I think you'll like it. Catch, catch you later. Ha Merry Christmas to you. Bye.